I would have gone down. Oh, it's like one of those things I do <laughs> moment I like as took as thank you. Yeah. 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 That's good. So, good yeah. evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the press conference for Ice Dance Free Dance. <laughs> And for the European to champion the winner and the gold medalist, Charlene Guignard, Marco Fabri from Italy. <laughs> In second place and silver medalist, Lila Fear and Lewis Gibson from Great Britain. <laughs> In third place and bronze medalist, Julia Turkila, Matthias Vers Lewis from Finland. Congratulations for all of you for the medalist. And now we want to hear about the highlights of your free dance today. So you could start. Well, I think the highlight was the kiss and cry <laughs> when we <laughs> saw the scores. <laughs> because like we felt uh, 10 kilos lighter. Uh, it's been a very long day for us. Uh, uh, as much as we were like prepared for the stress of this competition, uh, Today was much harder than compared to yesterday to handle it, so it's been tougher to skate tonight, uh, especially because it was pretty late. We were the last to compete, so it's not been super easy as yesterday. Uh, so I think the highlight was the kiss and cry, definitely. I don't know if we have the same answer, but for me, the choreo step was a lot of fun. I think just with the crowd clapping and being able to really take that in and, and have so much fun ourselves, it's something that will stay in my mind for a long time. Uh, I think for us, probably during the combo lift, when we heard that the audience <laughs> went wild, <laughs> uh, <laughs> was uh, really giving us energy to push the last part of the program. Today was a long day, like Marco said, and uh, felt harder to, to do the program, but the audience gave us the energy to do our best. So all of you said a lot, we did have quite a lot, like a full house today. So how did you enjoy being over here during well, this week? Well, as I said yesterday, even yesterday, like the crowd was not like, uh, the, the, the rink was not that full like today. Uh, the crowd was really nice and warm. Uh, and today with so much people in the stands, uh, it's been even better. And we really felt that the audience uh, participated to our performance. So it's been really, really a big help for us to finish the program today. Um, yeah, before we skated, it was, I mean, the crowd was electrifying, <laughs> first Because and of the beautiful Finnish team that went yes. before us. <laughs> um, so that was such a great energy to feed off of, and we're very thankful for that. And as Lila said, it was just, it was so amazing when we got to perform with everyone behind us as well. Well, it was a dream come true to see all the Finnish flags and the support. We, like, really felt it, and... <laughs> just try to breathe in the moment and enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for all of you. And now we will start the questions from the media over here on site and gentlemen over here in front. Thank you. Yeah, it's good to see each one of you here because it's been a journey uh, for each one. Uh, Julia and Matthias, uh, yeah, the audience went wild, and I wanted to 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 come back to the that that creation that you give each time and all those moves. That that lift is you, you were mentioning. It's not because you're finished that the crowd went wild. It's because it's spectac spectacular. That when when Julia is turning around your neck, it's it's quite unusual. And the final uh, one. When when you have you are like a swan mirroring in 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 the lake, is is completely unusual. Also, 
uh, plus you got that standing ovation at the end, of mm -hmm. course. But how do you make those things, creative things, uh, different and completely integrated into uh, your program and the story you're telling? Uh, well, we, we try to uh, express the music the best way we can. And uh, of course, we uh, <coughs> think about uh, what element suits in which part of the music and... and uh, those are like exactly the elements we can imagine on those part of the music. Yeah, and uh, of course, with the help of our chore choreography, uh, who helps us uh, in in this. <laughs> <laughs> so, do we have more questions over here on site? Please raise your hand. Over here in front. So for all three of you, it's uh, been a while since your country had uh, this kind of, well, since 2014, last British Ice Dance Medal, 2014, last European title for Italy, and even longer, <laughs> back in 1995, there was the last medal for Finnish Ice Dance. So what do you feel about this achievement today, and what do you think it means for the future, for your future and the future of your discipline in your country? <laughs> uh, well, we're very proud of uh, this achievement because we know that before us, uh, a lot of Italian couples uh, achieved really great results, like our coach Barbara with Maurizio Margaglio, Faiella Scali, Anna and Luca Capellini and Notte. So we're very proud that we could get to the same results. We could get the same results they got. So uh, it's been a great honor uh, and hopefully this will also like develop ice dance in Italy it will motivate people to um, to approach this discipline uh, to like start to do the ice dance uh, that's all we all hope for uh, I agree with that. I think honor is the word that comes to mind. And just to realize that we're a part of that legacy, it's really humbling. And something that is a big mission of ours is to encourage as many young people as possible to get into the sport in Great Britain. So hopefully if they got to see us on TV and see what's possible, that they can feel inspired and get out there and feel the joy that we all feel. Oh, yeah, we, we agree. And uh, of course, we hope that there will be more ice dance teams now in Finland and especially boys coming and try <laughs> <laughs> and see how... That's a problem in every country, yes. not just Finland. <laughs> just Finland, but like to see how beautiful this sport is. So Tanya, you can continue. Yeah. a question to Julia and Matthias because you both were single skaters you had kind of a late start in ice dance because you both <laughs> competed at the higher international senior level and European championships in singles did you ever dream that one day you would be ice dancers and be medalists at the European championships oh well, yeah it's been a long journey for us uh, when we started together we both came from single skating at the same time which uh, oh, it was not easy <laughs> no, like the, the first session I would never <laughs> had thought that uh, we, could, uh, we are here now and yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, after a couple of years we could uh, see the potential in in our partnership and we started to believe and uh, dream bigger and bigger and here mm. we are <laughs> So there is a question over there in the middle. It's Maya. A uh, question to all three teams uh, to wrap up the championship. If you could point the strongest side of your partner, something that you admire the most in your partner, what would that be? 
Uh, give us something. Give us something. Give us. <laughs> uh, well, but do you mean like as a skater or in general? Because the mental, mentally, she's really strong. Like when I some days I don't feel really like motivated. She's always there supporting me. Uh, like I don't know how to say, it, but she's always motivating me. She's always pushing me. So. I know that even when I feel down, she's there for me, and we can always work very well. So mentally, she's really, really strong, and that's what I like about her. Uh, for Marco, I mean, um, you can see when we come on the ice, he's very, very sweet, and he kisses my hand and everywhere, <laughs> <laughs> every time, and this is. I mean, I feel all, um, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's strong for me. That's so nice. Um, <laughs> for Lewis, I really admire his drive. He's fully committed to his dreams and to every single day and the entire journey along the way, and I never have any doubt of that commitment. And for Lila, she's one of the most encouraging people I've ever met, encouraging for herself and also for me and us as a team. And it's so <coughs> inspiring and special to be around. Uh, I would say uh, Yulia is a very calm person and uh, helps me also to be calm. And I can always trust that she does her very best in every practice, every moment. So. And for Matthias, it's the passion and uh, determination, what he has every day, which uh, I really admire. Thank you. It was a great, great question and great answers. Very good. So do we have more questions over here? I have two questions uh, to Shalene and Marco. First, uh, the Italian team here overall had an amazing success. Like, not, you are not <laughs> the only champions here. Maybe you can comment a little bit on that great success. Yeah. Well, uh, I was waiting for the second question too. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 totally it's unrelated, fine. So. no, 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 it's yeah. fine. No, it's, it's, it's been really like, all the performances of the Italian skaters were amazing. And we are very happy that also the other disciplines uh, achieved these results uh, in this European Championship. We're a really close team, so we like tonight. We felt that they ca they all came here to support us, so we felt it during the performance. Uh, and we're like a big family, so it's been nice to cheer for the others. Uh, uh, tonight we will celebrate for sure with the others as well. So it's. It's been a, it will be a great memory for all of us. Um, and the second question is actually something I know already, but I think a lot of other people would like to know because I know you have a great plan for next week. Maybe you can <laughs> share that. <laughs> yeah, as we said, after like our performance during the interview on the Kiss and Cry, we are going to spend some days in Lapland. Uh, uh, before going back to Italy. So we, we will stay here in Finland until Saturday and we will enjoy as much as possible this, uh, this experience with reindeer, Sasuke. <laughs> Hopefully see the Northern Lights. I think Hopefully. we all wish you luck, luck with that. <laughs> so more questions over here on site or? Now, then we can go for the remote. Do we have remote questions? Okay, so inside skating for Antina. Go ahead. Uh, thank you, Charlene. Marco, congratulations for your well-deserved European title. May I ask, what was the very first thing that crossed through your mind when you saw the scores and realized that you won? That hard work finally pays off, or how was it? Thank you. Yeah, you said it all. I mean, uh, it's, uh, it's been a really long journey. Uh, we know we are not 16, uh, so we had to wait quite a long time to get to this point. Uh, uh, so we like we had a lot of thoughts uh, when we saw the scores and when we realized that we won the gold medal. And 
it's really hard for us right now to express the feelings because like when when you achieve a dream uh, that when we when you were younger you could only think of that as a dream uh, and then it comes true it's like unbelievable so we're very very happy we felt relieved when we saw the score because we 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 know that we didn't perform the way we wanted to but it's been amazing thank you congratulations again do we have other questions remote? Susan, go ahead. Thank you. I have a question for the Italian team. Uh, the Olympic Games are uh, a little more than three years away. Uh, how do you feel, uh, two parts to the question. So how do you feel that the Italian team is shaping up to compete at that event? And the second question is, do you think that the excitement level is already starting to rise in Italy in anticipation of the games? Uh, can you repeat the second question, sorry? Because I didn't hear it very well. Would you say that the excitement level in Italy is rising already in anticipation of the games? Okay, so I will start with the first question. Uh, I think that the Italian team, uh, like uh, the, the results of the Italian team uh, are the result uh, of uh, the work that the Italian Federation uh, is doing every, every single year. I mean, I think that everybody's working very well uh, and they are trying to develop every single discipline. So I think that this European Championship, um, everybody could see the work of our Federation. And as far as the second question is concerned, like right now we feel like quite tired. So I'm sure that uh, the excitement will, uh, will be even bigger tomorrow. <laughs> Do we have more questions remote? Any more questions? No, That's okay. thank you. <laughs> So this was the last press conference <laughs> over here at the European Figure Skating Championships in Espo. I warmly thank you for the media over here on site and remote. It has been great pleasure to work with all of you. Thank you for the skaters and with most of us, we will see you tomorrow at Gala. Thank you, good night. <laughs>